Welcome everyone, this is Robert with another Tech Geek 311 app review and demo. Today I want to cover a productivity app and calendar app called Timeful. So we're going to first get into the little video preview, kind of show you guys what this app can do, uh, show you how you can create your to-dos within it, and then of course setting how, how you want it to customize. So it has a lot of a lot of good features on it. You can also set in there um, goals and things that you want to accomplish. And of course, you can see in there what it does, how to accept the suggestions, and so forth. Okay, so of course, here's the description. This shows you on the top in the red. There's your goals. Of course, you have all your calendar events, and then you have your current time showing in that little red line. Of course, here can show you basically how it can auto schedule your events depending on how you want to do it you have your quick view upcoming to do's of course your goals with those little dots that you can see and here it is starting your new habits and tracking your progress so of course you have your description as usual and we go down here to your version history you can tell it's been updated as of February 2015 so now let's go into the Timeful app. So this is what Timeful app looks and this is basically showing my current day. If I click on that little cog top left corner you're gonna get the settings section. You can have sideline calendars which means calendars that don't actually show up unless you pull them off on the side or you don't want them showing up in the main view. And So you can see if you have anything that's gonna be sideline you can just check it off. You have your calendar preferences, so you can show which calendars you want visible by checking them off here. You can show your default calendar, whatever that is. You can just give it a little check. Then you can see, uh, you can tell it when you're most productive, whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening. You can give it any of your work suggestions, so give it your work hours. You can tell it what dates of the week. And so it can figure out, you know, what you can add into the schedule for those uh, those hours. Of course, you can give your sleep hours here, so you can change here, and then it won't give you any suggested tasks during those hours. So you can add your location preferences in there. You can watch their tutorial tutorial video, and you can follow them as well. You have your term of use and privacy policy as well and support. So if you go on the top left corner. You have a number in there. You can tap on there. It's going to give you your month views. It's going to show you your current day in a box. Down below you're going to see whatever the events are. And you're going to see whatever has been checked off. So now, let's do this. I'm currently working on my videos now, so I don't need it in the time slot that it's showing. So I'm going to tap on that. It's going to pull up my edit view. Of course it's going to be today. I'm going to change the time. So I currently want it to be a little on the earlier side. So we're going to go into, let's say it's already this time, so it might not let it in, but we'll see. We're going to put it in there a little earlier time, give it more Texas time. We've got notifications tap, turned on, and I can add any notes. So I'm going to hit Done. Look where it moved it up. It moved it right into the line where you can see where I'm currently working on right now. If I'm done with this, if I'm currently doing it, I'm going to tap on that little circle and you're going to get it checked off and you're going to get it struck through. Alright, and that currently shows that you're, you're doing it at this time. Scroll to the bottom, you can see if you have any other events. And then if you scroll the page across, then let's say um, we scroll across, pull it across, you're going to see the next day scroll across next day scroll across next day and so forth if I tap on that date on the very top it's gonna to bring me right back to today if I tap on the little lines on the bottom right corner now I'm gonna get my list this is going to show you everything that's been done which has been highlighted out so in other words darkened out and everything that needs to get done is gonna be in the color it's gonna show you the date it's gonna show you what it is if you tap on the top left corner, now you're going to be able to filter that on whatever you want it to show. And you can even hide your completed ones if you want. If we go back 
to our main view, which is the bottom left corner, we have an add button in the middle. Tap on the add button, now you're going to get whatever to do you want to create. So I want to type in here, we want to do test, I can make it either personal or work, fun, important, wellness, or custom. On the top, you're going to have your task, which is the middle. You want to make it a calendar event, you're going to tap on there, or you want to make it a repeat event, something that's probably a habit. Tap on that uh, arrow on the top right corner. Now you're going to tell it when you want it to remind you. You can hit on, and this is going to give you a list of your dates on when you want to do this. Or you can tap on today and automatically will set it for today. You can change your time, whatever time is comfortable, whatever you want to do it. So let's put 3 p.m. Now here's the thing that this app does is different than most reminder apps. If I tap on this 4, it's going to start me off with 15 minutes. I, you cannot change that, unfortunately. I've talked to developers and they said they made that on purpose. So you can do everything in about a 15 minute increment or 5 minute increment on some of them. And it goes all the way up to 4 hours. So anything you do in here is up to 4 hours. And then of course you're going to hit done and done will go ahead and save it. So if I hit done, you notice it shows up right there. Now, I don't want this one, so I'm going to tap on it. Well, actually, let me show you first before I, I take it out. There's three little dots at the very end. If I tap on that, you're going to notice it gives me the chance to now schedule it for another day or move it to tomorrow. So anytime you tap on those three little dots, you got the option now to do that. But I just want to delete this. So once I open it up, I'm going to have that little trash can on the bottom. And it's going to ask me, do you want to delete it? And I hit delete. And there it goes. Okay? Now, the best thing about this is that any events that you add in here are going to show up in your default calendar. So, for example, we're going to get out of this real quick. We're going to go to my default calendar. And you notice that it has a check mark now, the one that I just checked off. And you notice how the time has changed. So anything that I add in, in Timeful will show up within the default calendar. And that's what I like the most about this app. So it automatically creates you a event in your calendar, which is actually a to-do, but it doesn't come out like a, a event to-do. So you don't get the same event reminder. So it's sort of like creating reminders through your calendar and showing up in your calendar, but they're not actually events themselves without locations and all that stuff that you have to do. And that makes this one a very, uh, very efficient productivity app. Alright, so that is Timeful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you can't uh, tap it because you're on a mobile device, go ahead and hit the, the, the subscribe in the description below. And if you want to take a look at this app, there's a uh, link to it in the description below, so go ahead and tap on that. And if you want to leave me any comments, go ahead and leave me comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys later with some more app reviews and demos. Thanks for watching.